like, what was the inspiration for you for the fall trees? I was trying to show fall trees in a more abstract way. And for some reason, it looks like you're looking up. Was that exactly what you're? Yeah, like looking up through the trees. Yeah. Trying to get the lights on through. This was like a few years ago too. So this was like I was really just experimenting and figuring it out. <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun doing. Pops of blue are nice. Yeah. Because uh, it does have that feeling like you're. But also my palette has changed from this painting to this painting. This painting deeper. I use a lot of different hues of color now. Like I use a lot of different shades of blue and shades of red that I didn't use when I was doing this. What is your process of mixing color? Like, I just kind of go with it. Yeah. Well, you said something that you kind of mix a color and then another mix. Oh, color yeah. That I, I kind of figured out to mix a color and then kind of mix that into the next color, like a, at least a little bit of it, so that it makes the painting look more cohesive. Well, it's just more advanced missing, mixing. Because like a fraction of those colors will go into all the colors. Yeah. So it, in my head, I'm like that looks. It does. It makes it look more cohesive when I do that. So. One piece. Nothing looks like it's just straight out of the tube. That's why it's really cool. Yeah. And when I started painting, that is kind of more what I did. And I realized it's way more rich when you when you add more colors to it. And where was the fall trees painted? Was it painted in the brochures? Was no, this was just from my head. Okay, interesting. So, so really this is more for your imagination and this is from real life. This is from like real life slash photo. Yeah. Yeah. A little both. And magic like after the second half of, of painting I tend to go more for my what I feel needs to happen. Yeah. Yeah, what I feel needs to happen. 